Good evening. Good evening, Pennsylvania. It is great to be with you all. Bless you for being out here tonight. Bless you for supporting. Bless you for supporting Donald J. Trump as he becomes the 47th president of the United States of America. You know, I, uh, these last three and a half years have been hard for me to watch. I know it's true for you, too. We, we watch them break so much that it had been done. And I often get asked, Mike, what was it like? Right, the Washington Post described me as the most loyal cabinet member to Donald J. Trump. I had to, I had to, I had to remind the president that they did not mean that as a compliment. <laughs> they asked me, what was it like to serve for President Trump? And I told them, and I've told everyone hundreds of times in these three and a half years, it was the greatest privilege that Mike Pompeo could ever have. It was a privilege because we had peace. You had prosperity. They didn't fly Chinese spy balloons over the United States of America. Indeed, indeed, had they done so, I would have been the former Secretary of State, and rightly so. We understood that peace mattered, that wars were bad, and that our servicemen and women deserved leaders who our adversaries feared and our friends trusted. And it kept you safe. It kept me and my family safe. It made America first again. I was, I was proud to be a part of President Trump's team. I talked to him every day for four years, first as CIA director and then as Secretary of State. And what I was so proud of is that we understood the greatness of this nation and we never once apologized for the United States of America. Not once. Now, President Trump's going to secure our southern border. We will bring peace back to the world. We will take down the ring of fire. We will support our friends in Israel. But he's going to need, he he's going to need help to do that. President Trump will need help to do that. And you in Pennsylvania have the chance to send that help. I've known Dave McCormick for 40 years, since we were cadets at West Point when I was a much younger man. And when I think of Dave McCormick, who will be the next senator from Pennsylvania, when I think of Dave McCormick, I think about what our founders believed, the men and women who shaped our Constitution and who believed so deeply in American greatness. They were thinking about people just like Dave. They were thinking about people who selflessly served in our military. They were thinking about people who had run businesses and taken risk and grown our economy and created thousands of jobs all across our nation. They were thinking about people with real character and who knew who they were and who, unlike Bob Casey, would actually do something that mattered to you and to your family. Dave will do that, I promise you. Dave is a warrior. He has been a warrior. And as Pennsylvania's next senator, he will be a warrior for you and on behalf of President Trump. And America will be great again. May I welcome to the stage your next senator and my dear friend, Dave McCormick. Whatever it takes. 